Welcome to Baja Fit. My name is Ricardo Suzuki and the equipment for today is your belt. It can be a resistance band or even a towel. Now first things first. Make sure you have a good amount of space so this way you're not injuring yourself. Make sure you're physically fit to do the exercises as well. So right guys, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Press ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back in the start jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Press ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? On your back, going for twenty chokes. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Elbows to knees. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. All right, guys. Now we can go for triangles. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant job. Neck exercises going up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left and right. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And here's your shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Radiant. Going for the bridges. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hip skates on the spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant job, guys. Going for all break falls. Now remember, nice good amount of space around. 
Keep the chin tucked in. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, brilliant job. Now, you're free to have a little sip of water and we go for our mobility drill. Alright guys, so starting with our walkouts, hands nice and high, coming down, walk out, pass the line of the head and then walk back. Brilliant. And another two. Last one. Coming all the way up. Brilliant. Now we're walking out again, stepping forward. Step and turn. And again, going for three. On each leg first. So always alternating hands. Once you finish your three, swap legs. And same thing. Another three turns on each hand. Warming up that torso fairly well. All right, brilliant. Bring that foot forward, shoulders back and down. Maintaining that nice, good straight back. And again, remember, if your heels are coming off the floor, just stay a bit higher up, that's okay. Then gradually improve your, your mobility to actually stay down. Okay, guys, we're rocking side to side. Let's try to keep the heels on the floor, so this way we can actually Work on that ankle flexion a bit more. Brilliant. Going for the table stance. And now we turn, bridge, back down, and reach. All the way down again. Bridge, down, and reach. Brilliant. And another two times. Hips nice and high. Big squeeze of the glutes. Brilliant job, guys. Now, a bit of a different move as well, which is again some. Uh, that I have seen from the, the workout that Dr. Johnson have written for us as well. Now for this one, it's all iron cross. So hands open pretty much. We are going for a little kick on the hand. So we're turning, keeping the leg fairly straight and trying to reach our hand and on the side. Two more. All right. And now we can go for a scorpion flicks. Same thing, but this time, belly on the floor, and we step on the other side. Keep. Everything nice and engaged. All right, guys. And just to finish it off, a little 90-90, but we're not actually holding the position because we want to go for a dynamic stretch instead. So from here, reaching to the foot, a little window wiper, back to the foot, between these three times, 
Try to keep the torso nice and low to the floor. So when you're turning as well, breathe in. And now we can switch sides and do the same thing over there. You know, window wiper. That's two. Last one. Brilliant. Brilliant job, guys. Oh, yes, I was almost forgetting. Now we're going for the hips. So, if you have a place to hold, by all means, feel free to stay here. Leg nice and parallel to the ground. And we're turning. So, if I'm showing from this other side, and back. So, really feeling that rotation on the socket. Now, if you don't have anything, by all means, feel free to do it on the floor as well. That's okay. We're going for six. That's five and six on the side. Nice and parallel to the floor. Turning, feel glutes engaging to turn. one all right brilliant all right guys now we can go for the technique drill turtle to back fairly simple on this one the sense that's what we need to do making sure nice and covered we're stepping out opening the gap feel the foot through you can bring your leg back to the floor the mat Keep the foot up so this way you can maintain that distance with that person. And then from here, it's all we're doing. Then we can come back up, feel the leg in again, and then we start to the other side. Now that's the light, uh, simple variation. Now because to, this is week, uh, what, 12, is it? So, Professor Vito did show some other movements from the turtle position on Tuesday, which I found that was actually quite nice, quite good. So I believe you guys uh, may have uh, the chance to try it, I'm not sure. If you had a partner, then you, you definitely didn't, but if you didn't have one, you definitely did. So for this one, we can play a little bit then. If you're just too tired of doing the same movements, the turtle to back, going to the floor, feel free to do the turtle to back, well, turtle to pretty much uh, getting that person closer. So from here, what the professor was teaching, pretty much, yeah, you grab the hand, you push it away. Now you're turning. So same thing as you would do, taking that foot to pass the leg is the same movement. Pass, open, but then we're just turning and sitting. So this way you can bring them close and do it. All the other moves that you guys know definitely more than I do. So from here, just showing from the, the back. Once we push that hand away, the feet starts coming, well, knee starts coming up. And we're going to sit with the legs crossed. And then we can uncross it. But that's the only way we're going to be able to spin around in your own axis like that. So just a little one again. Out. Up. And we're sitting, and then this way you can get them close. Right, guys, let's go. So feel free. If you're struggling with this one, feel free to go for the normal one. Step out, back on the floor, and then here, and then on the side. But if you want to go for that other one, by all means, let's go. All right, guys, I'll give you guys 30 seconds to practice this one. Actually, let's go for a whole minute, and then. Uh, we keep moving. Alright guys, let's go. So from turtle, out, boom, push the hand out and returning. Or from turtle, leg out, back in.
Brilliant job guys, relax. And now we go for a forward and backwards rows. Especially this week here, you're gonna start understanding a little bit more why we focus, well I focus quite a bit on tumbling as well every time we want to do some rolling on the floor. Now, again, same thing. Feel free to maintain the head out, roll on the shoulder, head, nice and safe, you still have that space. And uh, remember, when you're rolling back, same thing, arm out, head to the other side, and going on the shoulder. All right, guys, let's go. Forwards and backwards rows. And again, feel that movement fairly well. See how much it takes for you your hip to pass for you to actually start tipping to the other side. Just another 20 seconds. Brilliant job guys. And remember, stay on your shoulders. Don't roll your neck. Even if that means shifting slightly to the side, that's okay. All right, relax. And I'll explain as well why we're always rolling on the shoulder as well, another reason. Just like again on Tuesday class, that was brilliant. I loved that class because it, it was implementing everything that I was teaching for you guys as well. I was like, oh, that's brilliant. I knew that was valid. Now, for example, from the third position, you can also go for close guard. And uh, for you to do that, you need to do a row. Not specifically a forward row, because we don't want to go far away. We just want to roll the shoulder and get back to that same position. And that, that will come handy again, that's all the techniques that I was teaching you guys to roll, which is passing the hand through. The only difference here is that once we're there, yeah, you cut the hand, you, well, you cut the hand, you push it away, you extended your leg, from here, you want to reach, not in between, but from under your leg, because you want to reach the other person's leg there. So from here, there, what's going to get to the floor? Your shoulder. You need to get your shoulder on the floor, so this way, you're coming down and rolling this way. So the principle of the forward row is all there. The only difference is we're not tipping to that side, we're just opening the leg, circulating and get and pretty much coming down on your back. So that's why it's fairly valid to maintain that weight on the shoulder every time and not just on the head. Apart from the safety reason as well. Okay guys, now that we have done all the, the technical stuff that we need to do, we can go for the workout itself. Get that heart rate nice and high and push ourselves a little bit more. So in 10 seconds, we're gonna go for a accelerated warm up. I can never pronounce this word, one day, one day. I've been trying this for five years now, but so we'll keep practicing. Right guys, let's go. Light jog on the spot. In high heels. Leaning back, high knees. Right guys, going for a walking burpee. So wide stance, we're squatting down, walk out, walk back in, coming up on that wide stance as well. So squat, hand on the floor, walk out, back in, and up, core tight, glutes engaged. All right, guys, last one, come back down, mountain climbers. Brilliant. Going for a side climber, so step next to your hand, and back. Right.
Brilliant job, guys. Then coming up. And just to finish it off, a little jog. Now, stage two, a bit faster. We're gonna go for stage three. In three, two, one, go sprint. Hey, relax. Well done, guys, well done. Have a bit of water. Relax. And we can start a workout with a tricep. Now for the tricep, we start with our lateral lunges. So fit, close together, a big step to the side, knees following the toes, and back. Maintaining the back leg nice and straight. Two, one, and let's go. A nice big step to the side, feel your quads, hamstrings loading, and then push yourself back to that original position. And remember, big wide step to the side. Right guys, next movement, it's gonna be a lateral press up. So in three, two, one, let's go. Keeping the core tight. Press up stance, close, open, and press again. Keeping that core tight, shoulders and hips coming down as a unit. Right guys, now we're going for a turtle to back. Or if you, if you want a turtle to sit in position. Whichever you feel like it. So it can be your turtle to back. Or if you like, you can stay here and go for your turtle to the sitting position as well. And relax. Well done, guys. Well done. Have a bit of water. We have 30 seconds to recover. Now the second one, the first exercise is so 180 is squat jumps. Now, if your knees are bad, avoid the jumps, just stay in your squats. No problem. Two, one, let's go. Now keeping the knees nice and safe, landing soft every time, core tight, and keep those knees out every single time. So don't let them collapse, keep them out. Right guys, keep going. Our second movement is gonna be a press up with a side plank. In three, two, one, let's go. One press and we turn for a side plank. One press and we turn to the other side. Now keep pushing yourself nice and high. So don't let your shoulder relax here. We want to stay engaged. All right, guys, now we go for a turtle to back with a hip scape. So, step out, hip scape, and we're back on our turtle to back on the side. Step out, hip scape, and back it up. And remember, still the same thing. Protect your head the whole lot and relax. Well done, guys, well done. Have a bit of water. Shake it off. Third one. Lunges, back stepping lunges, keeping that core nice and tight. Front thigh nice and parallel to the ground. 
Back knee, nice and close to the floor, let's go. Now here, control your pace, you don't need to push yourself too hard right now. Because remember, we are still doing your 10 for 10, but just, well, I should say a 5 for 10. Eh? Alright guys, coming down with me, we are going for a hip to the floor, plank. So just see how my foot, I acting like a little window wiper, just going side to side. And the next move, we are back on our turtle to back, hip scape. And we're adding a triangle. Let's go. So, turn to back, hip scape, triangle. That's it. And relax. Well done, guys. Well done. And just for future reference as well, every time you're doing this drill, try to get, once you go for your hip scape, try to get your hips nice and high for that triangle. So this way, because that will mimic a little bit better your chances to actually get that triangle from there. All right, guys. Now we're back to the beginning. Back on the lateral lunges in two, one, and let's go. Now use your arms for a better momentum, stability, coordination. And now we're fully warm. Feel free to increase that range of motion if you can. Brilliant job, guys. We're coming down for lateral press ups. One press, close, open, press. And again, if it's getting too tiring, too tiring, bring the knees down to the floor. Do it from there. We are just on a turtle to, turtle to back or turtle to the sitting down position. Feel free to choose which one you want. You can choose any here, out. Shake it off, have a bit of water. Then we have our 180 squat jumps again. Followed by a press ups to the side plank and the toes to back with the hip skate. Now, the idea of having these movements at the end is to really make it drill in your head. All right, let's go. 180 squat jumps. So this way, when you're doing that over and over again, even when you're tired, you will be able to do that on the mats as well once you're tired. The idea is to get this to become a second nature. Right guys, press ups with a side plank. Tight, shoulders and hips coming down as a unit. Control that movement, you stay in control of that movement throughout the whole time. I'll go for some lighter variation. 
Turtle to back. Now we have a turtle to back. Hip escape. Well, almost got up. Hip escape. Breathe in. And remember, relax. Every single time, drill the way you're supposed to be drilling. Don't slack on any movement because you're getting tired. So if you need to protect your head, protect your head. Every single time, that does work on the sense that you will remember that and you will get conditioned of doing that all the time. And just like what Professor Vito said again on Tuesday, open your hand. The only reason I can do this is because of the headphones. The wires will be there as well. Right guys, let's go, we're back with no lunges. Core tight, full extension of the hips, knees, and then back down. If you're getting too tired, back leg straight. Plank, hips to the floor, let's go. Breathe in. Now here, if you are feeling your lower back, by all means, just stay on your plank. But here, go tight, glutes engaged, pelvis slightly folded. Right guys, third two, hip escape and triangle. Now remember, let's get that triangle nice and high. And relax. That's good guys, well done. Have a bit of water, relax. We have a whole minute to recover. And now it's time to have a bit of fun. Now we're going for a short variation of a 10 foot, of the 10 for 10. Now this one, five minutes. No break, if you need a break, by all means have one. All right, keep that there. And remember, now the six exercises we're gonna go for. We have our squats, or a squats. We're going for 10 of those. Now here, a good stance, shoulders back and down, core tight, bring your hips back and down, alignment with knees at least, and then back up. Keep the core tight, squeeze the glutes, and keep the chest up. So if you're here, focus on shoulders back and down, keep the hands forward, and come down. If you can only come down this much with a good straight back, that's fine, this is your starting point. Start from here and then gradually, once you're more confident, once your body is a bit stronger and be able to hold that position, feel free to start creating a bit more depth. That's okay. Exercise number two, or normal press-ups. Elbows close to the floor still, just like on the 300 challenge. Then we have our jumping sprawls, the same thing as the 300 challenge as well. And then on your movements, plyo lunges. Now, we want knees fairly close to the floor. If you don't have a mat, don't hit the floor. Don't hit, don't hit your knees on the, on the floor. If you do have a mat that's good enough to absorb a bit of impact, then by all means, a little bit all right. Not ideally, not ideal, but you can still do it. Try to stay just, just hovering a bit from the floor. Then we have our sit-ups. 
sit ups, same thing. We are going with the elbows on the knees. So again, nothing like here, or just touching. We want to go all the way up. And then we have a technical stand up. So from there, hand on the floor, foot out. One thing that they're asking for you not to do on this challenge, not to put your foot on the floor. So keep the foot up, back in, full extension of the hip as well. So we're fully coming up. And then we can come back down. Another thing as well, your bum or your hip will touch the floor and then back up. All right guys, so we have 10 of each, which is gonna make sure that for the plunges, it's gonna be five on each side, and for the technical stand-up, five on each side as well. Cool. All right, we're starting that in 10 seconds. All right guys, now for this one, nice and easy, don't need to push yourself too hard right now. Let's go. We have our first 10 squats. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. That was 15 seconds. Press ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, guys, jumping sprawls. Good for ten as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. Plyo lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sit ups. And again, coach, feel free to go for a back step in lunge instead. We're just pressing. Right, guys, ten crunches. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. And now then go stand up. You can start already on the floor. So we go. One, two, three, four. Five, other side. One, two, three, ready. Four, five. And now we do it all over again. It took us two and a half minutes for that almost. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. Press ups again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. Jumping sprawls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and lunges. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Crunches. Brilliant job, guys. And again, nice and steady. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go back and on, back and go stand up. And one, whenever you need to have a little break, have a little break, that's okay. Two, we have three, 30 seconds left. Four, five, other side. One, two, remember to bring that hip to the floor. Three, four, and five. My back, no squats, ready? One, two, three, four, and relax. Well done, guys, well done. So this is how half of the challenge feels like. Going on a steady pace. So when you go on a steady pace, it's not too daunting in a way. It's still difficult, especially those stand-ups. My goodness. When I first saw the challenge, I was expecting the lunges to be the hardest point. But it's definitely the stand-up, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, guys. We almost, we almost had a whole minute to rest. We're gonna now get our belt. So we can go for some isometric movements as well. We're starting with our rows. So we're back on 30 second intervals. All right. And just a little reminder guys, for the rows, let's make sure that we stay on that outer range of motion as well. So the elbows are gonna stay still above, well, in front of the body. You wanna make sure there's a good amount of engagement on the back muscles. So keep, make sure shoulders back and down, keep the chest up, keep that core tight. We're starting that in five seconds. Three, two, one, roll shoulders back and down, and pull. Squeeze those muscles. And try for as long as you can. If it's getting too difficult, go for three seconds. Really engaging, and then relax for two. Another three, really engaging. And relax for two, another three, engaging, relax, last one, all right, relax, we lay down, bringing one knee up, so we're really pushing the knee against our hand, so the idea is to bring that knee like this, but since we're holding, we're going to be working on the muscles right here for quite a bit. Right guys, we started that in three seconds again. Two, one, and let's go. Push, one, two, three, relax. Push, one, two, three, relax. Push, one, two, three, relax. Push, one, two, three, Relax, push, one, two, three, relax, last one, one, two, three, and change sides, push, one, two, three, relax, push, one, two, three, relax, push, one, two, three, relax. Push, one, two, three, relax. Push, one, 
two, three, and relax. Well done, guys, well done. Now, the last one before we go back, before we go back to the rows, we're back on our Y's, T's, and W's. So from here, we're lifting up, T, W, and we're holding six seconds on the W position. Keep the thumbs up. If you can, bring the legs up as well. And up, T, W, one, two, three, four, five, six. Y, T, W, one, two, three, four, five, six. Y, T, W, one, two, three, four, five, six. Y, T, W, one, two, three, four, five, six. Y, T, W, one, two, three, four, five, six. Y, T, W, one, two, three, four, five, six. Relax. And now we can relax 30 seconds. And then we go back to the beginning with our rows. Now the rows, we're going to be doing the same thing as we were for the hip flexion as well. So we're going to push as hard as we can for three seconds, relax for two, push again for three. And we keep going for the whole 30 seconds. All right, guys, grab your belt. Two, one, and let's go. One, two, three, relax. And go. One, two, three, relax. One, two, three, relax. And one, two, three, relax. One, two, three, relax. Squeeze harder. One, two, three, and relax. Well done, guys. Well done. Going for a hip flexion. And same thing. Really push that knee. You want to bring that knee as close to that chest as you can. Really fighting to keep the, that knee there. Two, one. Let's go. One, two, three. Relax. One, two, three. Relax. Keep that core engaged. One, two, three, relax, one, two, three, relax, push harder, one, two, three, relax, one, two, three, and change sides, one, two, three, relax, one, two, three, relax, breathe in, one, Two, three, relax. One, two, three, relax. Brilliant job, guys. One, two, three, relax. And one, two, three, brilliant job, guys. Recover. And now, again, otherwise, T's and W's. Home meet it again. It's starting 15 seconds. Right guys, in three, two, one, up, T, W, one, two, three, four, five, six, Y, T, W, one, two, three, four, five, six. Y, T, W. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, Y, T, W, one, two, three, four, five, six, Y, T, W, one, two, three, four, five, six, Y, T, W, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Relax. Brilliant, brilliant job, guys. Well done. All right, and now we can go for our stretches. So we can stay here already. We're starting with our glute stretch. So passing, leg over and across, feeling the hand through, laying back, bringing the knee close to the knee, to the chest again. Nice deep breaths. So controlling that heart rate again. guys and switch sides ready and well done guys another training done gonna practice that uh, 10 for 10 for the next few weeks so if you want to do your challenge again after, definitely going to be feeling a bit better. Going for the hamstrings, both legs down, bringing one back up, nice and straight. You can even use your belt if you like. It's actually a good idea. And then instead of just bringing it down, bring them up like this and then uh, you will feel better stretch as well. Switch legs. Brilliant. Going for the quads. Now for this one, bring your leg, one leg back, keep the knees fairly close together. And uh, once you're there, you're going to lean on the opposite elbow. From here, we're going to start bringing that shoulder back down to the floor. Now if your knee, just like mine here, was coming up as well, then by all means, stay high, stay up here. If you can keep the knees on the floor, by all means, lay down. Well, it's a nice grey day today, but at least definitely feeling a bit more energised now after the workout. The mood definitely improved. And on the side, elbow on the floor, coming down. Nice deep breaths. Job. Now from here, we can go for a downwards dog position, push the heels down to the floor, head down, arms fully extended. Good. 
bring your hips close to the floor, push yourself nice and high, so make sure you feel your neck still, so we're not just here, scapula is still engaged. Alright guys, we are coming back, now from here, wider stance, lean into the side, now try to keep your heels on the floor still, and elbow on the inside, if by all means the heels are coming up, just stay a bit higher up, that's fine, and then gradually work yourself, well work on that mobility to actually keep the heels on the floor and the hips open. Switch sides. So this is our Cossack stretch. And by all means, feel free to bring the hands forward so you can have a better balance as well. If that's the case, you're losing a bit of balance. Alright guys, we're back to the center, stay low here still, you can bring feet a bit closer together, just around shoulder width or so. And now slowly unfolding the spine, coming up. Alright guys, a nice deep breath. And again. And last one. Brilliant job guys, thank you very much for showing up, hope you guys enjoyed the workout.